by what he saw on Saturday. Well, let me tell you something, brother. You know something? When I came here tonight, there was so much energy in this room. I felt maybe I was in Madison Square Garden getting ready to win another world title. Or maybe I thought that the vibe was so intense, the energy was so crazy, it felt like maybe I was going to press that no good stinky giant over my head and slam him through the mat, brother. But what I found out was I was in a room full of real Americans, brother. And at the end of the day, with our leader up there, my hero, that gladiator, we're going to bring America back together. One real American at a time, brother. You know something? I've seen some great tag teams in my time. Hulk Hogan and ooh, yeah, the macho man Randy Savage. But you know something? I see the greatest tag team of my life standing upon us, getting ready to straighten this country out for all the real Americans. You know, even though you guys are real Americans, you better get ready. Because when Donald Dick J. Trump becomes the president of the United States, all the real Americans are going to be nicknamed Trumpites. Because, because all the Trumpites are going to be running wild for four years. So with the power of Donald J. Trump and all the Trumpites running wild, America is going to get back on track and like Donald J. Trump said, America is going to be great again. You know, I, when I look out and I see all the real Americans, I think about how Donald Trump, his family was compromised. When I look out there and I see Donald Trump, I think about how his business was compromised. But what happened last week when they took a shot at my hero and they tried to kill the next president of the United States? Enough was enough. And I said, let Trump the media run wild, brother. Let Trump the media run again. Let Trump the media make America great again. You know something, Trumpites? I didn't come here as Hulk Hogan, but I just had to give you a little taste. You know, my name, my name is Terry Bollea. And as an entertainer, I love you too. And as an entertainer, I tried to stay out of politics. But after everything that's happened to our country over the past four years, and everything that happened last weekend, I can no longer stay silent. I'm here tonight because I want the world to know that Donald Trump is a real American hero. And I'm proud to support my hero as the next president of this United States. You know, guys, I've known Donald Trump for over 35 years. You, you know, hold on a second.
I just had a flashback. I just had a flashback, man. This is really tripping. You know, the last time I was up on stage, Donald Trump was sitting at ringside at the Trump Plaza. I was bleeding like a pig, and I won the world title right in front of Donald J. Trump. And you know something? He's gonna win in November, and we're all gonna be champions again when he wins. And like I said, I've known that man for over 35 years, and he's always been the biggest patriot, and he still is. He's always told you exactly what he thought, and he still does, brother. And no matter the odds, he always finds a way to win. And when he's back in our White House, America is going to start winning again. You know, guys, over my career, I've been in the ring with some of the biggest, some of the baddest dudes on the planet. And I've squared off against warriors, ooh, yeah, savages. And I've even, like I said, body slam giants in the middle of the ring. And I know tough guys. But let me tell you something, brother. Donald Trump is the toughest of them all. They've thrown everything at Donald Trump. All the investigations, the impeachments, the court cases, and he's still standing and kicking their butts. You know, we never had it better than the Trump years. Back then we had a thriving economy. We had strong borders. We had safe streets. We had peace and respect around the world. But then we lost it all in a blink of an eye. Crime is out of control. The border is out of control. The price of food and gas and housing is out of control. And the only person who can clean this up is Donald Trump. You know, guys, I really, really love this country. And I've lived the American dream. And I want my kids, your kids, and all those little teeny Hulkamaniacs out there to live the American dream too. This November, guys, we can save the American dream for everyone. And Donald Trump is the president who will get the job done. So all you criminals, all you lowlifes, all you scumbags, all you drug dealers, and all you crooked politicians need to answer one question, brother. What you gonna do when Donald Trump and all the trump maniacs run wild on you, brother? God bless you, and thank you. Well, we've seen a lot of speeches covering these political conventions, uh, none quite like that one. He just blew a kiss uh, to Hulk Hogan, the former president. I mean, David, Donald Trump loves professor wrestling. This has been his thing. Like I said, he is a member of the WWE Hall of Fame. Please welcome the president and CEO of the Billy Graham Evangelist Up next, Franklin Graham, of course. And his father was Billy Graham, who died in February of 2018. Reverend Franklin Graham. We'll listen to the Reverend Franklin Graham. I will say, watching Donald Trump on the split screen, he was not beaming all the way through his speech like he did just then with Hulk Hogan this entire convention. <laughs> on his feet. Uh, on his feet time. and uh, running ear to ear the entire time. Let's now listen. we go to a preacher. Good yes, we do. I've got the hardest job, and I'd have to follow Hulk Hogan. But I stand here tonight as a private citizen who loves this country. I've been asked to say a few words and then to pray. We're going to do that. 
Last Saturday, in Butler, Pennsylvania, President Trump had a near-death experience. No question. But God spared his life.